Hello everyone, welcome to Liam's Lyceum, I'm your host Liam, aka Hembar. Uh, today I'm doing my weekly update, this is Liam's Leaping number 102, the 29th of September 2024. Um, I think, uh, before I get into my reading, uh, the biggest news for me this week is my novella came out, my book, um, on Tuesday, technically, you can get it in uh, paperback or ebook, uh, and yeah, uh, it's it's done good so far, I imagine, I don't know, Sat uh, satisfying me. Um, I have a couple of reviews on Goodreads and one review last I checked on Amazon. Um, if you do read it, if you could please leave me a review on both, that'd be preferable. But uh, you don't have to leave me a review anywhere, obviously. Uh, I hate I hate to ask, but uh, it is appreciated. It does help, actually. So anyways, um, besides that coming out, um, I'll be continuing to share stuff, I'm sure, in like the community tab for if anyone does videos on it or whatever. There's already been a couple. Uh, one from Renfail, one from Shane and Shelf. Uh, but this week, oh, for, I guess in related news, I have written some stuff this week. Kind of still at work on the next novella. I wrote a short story today, actually, so um, I'm not sure what I'll do with that. Uh, I was thinking about going back and looking at some of the stories I've written before and like maybe going through and editing them a little bit more and try to send them out again. I have like probably 15 stories that never got accepted for publication anywhere uh, and i'd like them to <laughs> um anyways so this week i finished four books so finished pool of twilight uh by james and ward and anna k brown um the third book in the pools trilogy or the hero of the flan um there is another pools book it's the pool of radiance ruins of Mithranor, uh written by a different author uh Bebris or something i think is her last name uh for a later game these are for like gold box games uh, this one's fine. It kind of takes some stuff from book one, two, and finishes it up, I guess. I like Altiochus's. Oh, sorry, I guess. Reading the wrong thing. Like Miltiades' um, arc in this one, in particular. Uh, but is it, it is interesting to see the the cast from before, now older, and they, we have a new cast with pretty much their children. So, um, Another book I finished was Elminster's Daughter by Ed Greenwood. I actually really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed this one. Much more uh, than Elminster and Hell, although that was still fine. Uh, it hit the right amount of action uh, and just like the human feeling. I feel like that Greenwood's really good good at, you know, just like maybe teary eyed at one point. I mean, Greenwood often does that. Uh, he is like really frolicking, rampaging type of story as well. And I think some parts didn't work super well, um, particularly the super long chasing, but. Um, it's still fun. I enjoyed it. You get a lot of a big cast of characters, but particularly where it's focused on Narnra and Elminster, it really shines. I think. Um, but that's it. That's pretty much it of the El Elminster series. There's another. There's the Sage of Shatterdale trilogy, which is a sequel. Um, takes. I think that's like right around the transition to fourth edition. Um, and then there's the Herald and Spellstorm and Death Mask. After that, I've already read Herald and Spellstorm. I have not read Death Mask. Um, I read them out of order, obviously. So uh, if I read the ones I haven't read now, that means I only have four more Elminster books. And that means I've read seven. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, the third book I finished this week is actually aren't going in order. I don't remember which ones I finished first. Uh, but I finished The Open Axe and Other Tales of Horrors and you know, Heroes and Horrors. Yeah. By Kirk A. John Johnson. I got this one. It was new a couple years ago. I read the first story and then kind of just paused for some reason. Um... I probably just got burnt out on sword and sorcery in general. Uh, and uh, this is a good one. It's interesting, actually. Um, th there's only four stories. So they're kind of on the longer side, I think. Two of them are novelettes. Um, and two are just short stories, technically. Um, but they are good. Uh, in fact, it's good sword and soul, so African-inspired fantasy, sword and sorcery variety in particular. Um, and definitely, definitely leans into the horrors aspect of it. So... I think it's well suited to be called Heroes and Horrors here. Um, I think maybe my favorite was the, the Oculus of Key. Yeah, we can probably go with that one as my favorite. So, um, enjoyable. You can get it. I think you can get it on Amazon. I think I got it on Bookshop, baby, or whatever it's called. So, But again, if you want to support a uh, contemporary sword and sorcerer author, and th these are good stories, like I said. So, um, I really like the use of language. I'll, I'll have a review out for this one soon, actually, because I'm trying to get 
uh, push sword and sorcery reviews up right now. Uh, one other book I finished was Waste Flowers by Bryn Hammond. I, I kind of talked about this one last week, and I already had a review out. I already have a review out for it. it came out Friday, so you can get more thoughts. Um, but it is a fun sword and sorcery. I think it sh is it is a good showcase of what sword and sorcery can be. Um, it's definitely not Blood and Thunder <laughs> variety of sword and sorcery. Um, it also has um, a queer um, couple, and they have an interesting relationship too. Uh, they're often not together. It seems like so. Um, well, and I've read some Goatskin stories where that is the case, I guess. So, um, yeah, it is, a uh, very interesting, uh, but I am sorry. I'm tired. I almost found here. Um, it is entertaining, uh, and it is good and short and novellas are a nice length of feeling more like book, like a novel, but not a short story. Right. So that's a nice in between. I think that in some ways I think sword and sorcery works pretty well as novellas. So, um, I mean, I just released my novella and it's sword and sorcery. <laughs> so, but no, yeah. And actually that one is still, I'll mention again, that one's still on Kickstarter. So you can go support. Uh, Waste Flowers is also in conjunction with another um, novella, which I finished last week. That review also came out this week. This week, tired, sorry. Uh, it is uh, Walls of Shura uh, Yulan um, by Dario Kyoge. Um, Yes, uh, you, you can go support that if you want. Uh, I'll try to remember to put that in the description, but you can look it up, um, backer kit, if I don't, sorry. Anyways, um, those are the four books I finished. I'm pretty far into several, actually, as of right now. I finally... Ready to finish up Matthew Hughes' A God in Chains. Got much more interesting after the halfway point. That kind of accelerates, like, exponentially, in a sense. <laughs> But uh, it is good. It's good. I, I, It's taking me forever, so I guess it hasn't really kept my attention that much, but it is good. Um, so I'm almost done with that one. I'm also almost done with... <coughs> Excuse me. I need to drink water. I don't have any water with me. Uh, Terra Incognita by DMR Books, edited by Doug Gra. Um, I, again, I started this one a couple years ago when it was new, and I paused after one story by a certain author in here i'm not a big fan of he's he's a nice guy so i feel bad saying it but i don't really enjoy most of his stories uh and that kind of just put me off and so i picked it back up and enjoyed the rest of the stories um i'll mention that in the review if you want to know which author it is but um i did enjoy it it was it was worth my time i think so um it's interesting actually the last story is a hanovar story that is in the first book of hanovar which i've already read uh, so, anyways, it's good. Again, this review um, has not been recorded, but it'll be pushed up whenever I finish it. Um, I also am really close to finishing uh, Contra Amatoris Mundi um, by Graham Thomas Wilcox. I always forget his middle name. Um, this is another Sword and Sorcery novel. This one's also upcoming. It comes out on, in Halloween. On Halloween, sorry. Uh, I'm almost done with this one. Uh, it's very interesting. I, Graham definitely has a very particular style that um, I enjoy. Um, and I'll have more thoughts. Again, that one will probably be pushed up. I'm going a bit more into Red Sonia Consumed. I have not gotten very far into it at all. Uh, I started The Talismans of Shannara, which I have a copy of, but I didn't grab it off the shelf. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, and you go get my baby. So I'll just finish this up real quick. A Dream of John Ball I'm also almost done with by William Morris. It's a short William Morris read, not quite one of his fantasy stuff, but it's kind of like a dreamland going and experiencing stuff with John Ball during the uh, Peasants' Revolt, I believe. Um, and there's A Book of Blades 2, um, which I don't have on hand, actually, and I'm almost finished with that. I reviewed A Book of Blades a while ago. Uh, yeah, and that that is it, as far as I'm saying. Oh, and I also read the short story, The Ship Sails at Midnight by Liber. Oh, and I forgot to put it in here because I don't have my copy with me again, so let me put it in here before I forget. But Rake Fire and Other Stories... Um, by Jason Ray Carney. I'm really enjoying that one. I'm going a little slower through that one just because of when I sit down to read that one. But uh, anyways, let me know what you've read. Um, and thanks for watching. Thanks anyone who's bought the book or read it. I will catch you next time. If it ends.